Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Welcome back after the uh, holiday break. As you probably noticed, I didn't get much videos done over December. It was pretty busy for me, both business and personally with the family and whatnot. However, what did happen is I got a ton of photography goodies that came in. So I got lots of stuff to show you, lots of videos to do. We're going to start today with an NEX gadget I ordered. I got the um, adapter for the uh, Minolta, the older Sony uh, Minolta uh, MD lenses. So these would have fit on your Konica Minoltas and they fit on uh, most of your um, of your alpha mounts too, if I'm not mistaken. Anyways, I got the adapter here and uh, it was about 20 bucks on eBay. I'll show you a close up of this. This is the adapter. Um, it's fairly nicely machined out of Hong Kong um, and um, it looks okay. Make sure you blow these off with some compressed air to make sure there's no shavings or anything on here. Um, but it seems to fit okay. And then the other thing I got is Konica Minolta MD, a uh, 50 mil F1.7. It's an MD made in Japan. Um, this little beauty, the optics on it are, are uh, crystal clear. Show you a close up here of this. And basically, I got this lens for 20 bucks on eBay, so you can't beat that. I think with shipping, it might have cost me $35 total because it came in from somewhere that was like $15. The shipping was almost as much or more than the lens was. Anyways, nothing wrong with it at all. You may be wondering why there's no caps on it. Something to check with your eBay sellers. I always assume I'm going to get a lens with caps. I always sell them that way. That's the way I have them. But sure enough, I received this lens in mint condition. It had a skylight filter on the front, which I took off because I never use. Uh, but no caps, no front or rear caps. So anyways, we've got the Sony NEX5N here. And what we're going to do is test it out. We're going to uh, take off my uh, standard 18 to 55 there lens. We're going to take the, uh, the adapter for the Konica Minolta MD. And we're going to figure out where the little red dot is. Line it up. And that fits on pretty smoothly. Goes on there nicely. No big deal. I'll show you a close up here with it on. And then we're going to take our Konica Minolta 50mm F17 and we're going to attach it on. So there we go. Now we've got the Sony NEX5N with a Konica Minolta 50mm F17. Uh, and including the adapter, this whole setup cost me uh, about 50 bucks. Uh, was, the adapter was um, around 20 and the lens was around 20 plus some shipping. There was no shipping on the adapter. It was included. Um, so anyways, about 50 bucks, and I've got a fast 50 mil F17. Now, it is manual focus. Uh, that's what these MD lenses are. But what you have to remember is that's the beauty of the NEX system is it has the focus peaking on it. So you turn that on in the back and uh, watching in the viewfinder or if you have the optional EVF, it's really easy to manual focus these lenses. That's what everybody's raving about the NEX is for, is they love how you can use practically any lens on the NEX and manual focus it very easily with the focus peaking. So anyways, there it is. I'll show you a close up here of it. And there you have it. That is the, um, that is the lens there. And uh, basically, we're going to take some pictures now, and um, I'm going to go do a walk around, just snap some snaps here and there, and I'll post those at the end of this video right here, and you can have a look at them, and uh, if I get around to it, I'll also put them up on um, online with a link to the, uh, the original so you can have a look at the files yourself outside of the video. So anyways, folks, thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon with some new videos, some new articles. We'll keep you up to date with what's going on in the world of photography. And yes, I'll have some comments on the new Nikon D4 announcement. And um, I just want to say thanks to everybody that's checked out the Diary of a Nerd King, my uh, teen tween book. If your kids liked uh, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, they're going to love Diary of a Nerd King. And thanks to you folks and everybody that's uh, reading it. It is now ranking number seven for its category in Amazon. And uh, also, it's ranking in at 11 
14 and 17, I think it was the last time I checked because I got three more episodes up. So I just want to say a real heartfelt thanks. Thank you very much. It wouldn't be happening without you folks. Uh, if you haven't checked it out yet and you got teens or, twe- uh, teens or tweens, check it out. It's uh, similar to Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Thanks again, folks. We'll be back soon. Okay, so what you're going to be able to see here is that all the shots are in focus. They are all shot at f 17 because we're looking at uh, seeing how sharp it is wide open and the nice bokeh you can get out of a fast lens, the nice blown out area in the background. These are just some shots from around the house, but what you will notice is all of them, the points that are uh, in focus, the focus points, are tack sharp, and that is due to the focus peaking on the NEX 5N, which is also on the NEX 7 as well. So it's a fantastic way to uh, to use some older lenses and to get uh, excellent, fast, sharp focus. It's actually really fun to use. I really enjoyed shooting with this 50 mil, uh, the older Minolta, and I'll be doing some more of it. And uh, these are just some sample photos from around the house for you to have a peek. So uh, check it out, folks. Maybe you want to try getting an older lens yourself and try it on your NEX. <laughs>